This weekend, me and Dev Chicken decided to participate in the 2021 GMTK Game Jam, and we made a game called Aquila, which you can play in browser in the description. In this video, I'm going to go over how we made it and show some of the early dev builds. So yeah, hope you enjoy. At 7pm on Friday night, me and Chicken got into a call and watched the premiere for the theme announcement. It turned out to be joined together, which instantly kickstarted about an hour of brainstorming as we tried to figure out what we were going to do. After going through many ideas which you can see here, we decided on an action platformer where the bow that you shoot is tied to the arrow that it fires. We then thought about this and how to make it more unique and decided to make it so you could grab onto the bow and use it as a kind of grappling hook. We got into Unity and started to try and implement the mechanics. So then we sat there at about 8 o'clock trying to figure out what we were going to do. And for some reason we'd already sent like two builds back and forth at this point and it was still blank but that's besides the point. So I started off by trying to make the string that would connect the bow to the arrow. And at first I tried to use the sort of classic method of using hinge joints to make a chain, but I thought it ended up kind of buggy and it didn't really fit, so I decided to scrap this and try again. So instead I followed a helpful tutorial from One Minute Unity, which will be linked in the description, and I made this kind of grappling hook which you can see. On Friday night I decided to do the smoke puffs for dropping and jumping in Aquila. For the dropping, I decided to make the smoke puff push out and fly up. For the jumping, I basically did the exact opposite and made the stem of the smoke fly up. Also, for the little stray bits of smoke on the jump, it is just kind of reversed. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I was very tired. <laughs> At this point in the jam, it was late Saturday night, early Saturday morning, and we were starting to get the game figured out. As you can see, the basics of the bow shooting and attaching mechanic have been built using that tutorial, and I thought the physics were turning out a lot more reliable than expected, which was a nice surprise. Cut forward a little bit, and that was almost all the main mechanics of the game done. You could swing on your bow, pick it up, walk around. That was all of the central programming of the game finished, but as usual, we underestimated how long it would take to do all the extra stuff like level design. In this clip, you can see the more game-like elements actually start to take shape, as Chicken was designing this first level and I got to work on the camera and checkpoint systems. You can also see the beginnings of the enemies, which at this point were just blank textures with red colours, and we actually used those for the majority of the development. We were nearing the end of Saturday night, and throughout the whole jam we had decided that Sunday would be more of a polished day, where we worked on content that we had already made instead of adding new stuff. And that's more or less the plan we stuck to, minus adding a few extra features in the last minute, which you'll see. I was trying to figure out how to do the arms and make them always connect to the bow, and I remembered using a line renderer for the grappling hook, so I attempted to use that to animate the arms in the same way. At first it led to these very terrifying results, but eventually we polished it a bit and it's actually in the final game. Around Sunday I started to develop out the art style for the game, going for more of a monochrome look. I didn't really want the game to be too cheery or happy, so I think a monochrome colour palette was a perfect fit for this game. I ended up creating some rocky tile sets for the floors and walls, and also created the first enemy by skeletifying the first player sprite. We stuck to our word, and around this point on Sunday, we just started polishing all the content we'd already added. We made the skeletons explode on impact, allowing arrows to stick in them, and added some slow-mo effects when you charge the bow. I even added in some little storyboard segments to the intro after the menu. However, we glanced at our clocks and realised it was around 5.30 to 6, with the jam ending at 7. We were still aiming to get a boss in, so what followed was a very frantic hour and a half of coding while we tried to jam it into the game very, very last minute. It ended with both of us screaming at each other in a call while we were drawing the last bits of pixel art and trying to set up the level triggers, which we crossed our fingers and hoped wouldn't break the game. It ended with us sitting in a call, counting down the minutes until the end of the deadline while the WebGL build spluttered its way along as we hoped that it wouldn't crash. Eventually, we somehow managed to submit it 2 minutes and 5 seconds before the extended deadline. So again, if you want to play the game, then the link's in the description, and you can hear some of the strange sound design which we made by knocking our hands on the table. And overall, I think the jam was pretty fun. I had a lot of fun working with Dev Chicken to make the game, and we might even add some new updates and stuff to it after the release, so make sure to follow us on itch.io if you want to see that. Overall, just thanks for watching, and I will see you soon for the next one.